Hello and welcome to Battle Book Girls. It's Knits episode 165. My name is Meg and I'll be your host. You're joining me here on December 9th, which is a Thursday, and I am wearing a finished object, which I'm very excited about. Oh, I have to grab that finished object. Um, I am drinking out of my new mug. I got it on eBay, but I think it was originally a TJ Maxx cup. And um, my friend Ashley had one and I immediately fell in love and I needed it. I am drinking decaf Pike Place coffee from Starbucks and I have peppermint mocha creamer in there and it is delightful. Um, you might see a little movement going on in the background. There she is. Uh, that is my dog, Gypsy. She is a German short hair pointer who knows what an advent calendar is. Yeah. I am currently sitting in the section where the tree is and um, the advent calendar. And so she has been like pacing and like waiting for me to give her her day of Advent, um, which is hilarious. <laughs> I have a very smart dog and she knows what Advents are. So mm. I'm gonna pop this back on the warmer and then we can dive right in. I am wearing the Betty and Judy Lodge sweater. Um, this is Intarsia, these are bobbles. I did a cap sleeve, um, added on collar. I still am lacking a ribbon and or button for the back. So this is just clipped right now with a stitch marker. And um, I did a little bit of that, uh, I guess it's still in Tarja here. And then you join and you go down and then I'm wearing pajamas under this. So I look very put together, like right on this side. And then it's old baby pajamas underneath. <laughs> so I'm very comfy as well. Um, I am currently 37 weeks pregnant today. And uh, comfort is pretty much everything. So, um, but I really, really, really wanted to show off this sweater. So um, yeah, it, this needs like a, a ribbon and or button and it'll just keep it. It's a bit of a tighter neckline than I typically wear, but that is par for the course with vintage patterns. So um, not like I was not expecting it. I, it's just something that I have to get used to. And my hair, I just washed it today. So my hair is not holding form yet, um, but it is a shortened, top it only goes 10 inches or so down to what will be my own natural waist once I don't have a watermelon inside and um, it looks really cute with dresses and skirts um, but you could of course make it a little bit longer and do it to the top of your pant line if you like that look um, kind of like a beauty school dropout type of like cut super cute it really is. Um, I used Brava Worsted in the wine colorway for the red and the berries. I used um, Knit Picks, Wool of the Andes, Hunter Green, which it's kind of like green and black blended, which I thought that um, would give the, the leaves some nice depth. I think that that did work. And then I used a worsted white um, from Brava as well. If you would like to do a little shopping through my Knit Picks link, it is down below. That um, will kick a couple of pennies back my way if you use it, uh, but there's absolutely no pressure. Um, any links that you use down below uh, that say like affiliate link or coupon code, um, sometimes I'll get a couple, <laughs> couple quarters out of it. So, it's always appreciated. It um, it doesn't make you sign up for anything, but should you wish to, it's very nice. Anyway, full transparency there. Um, I did the color work on the arms. I was debating it. I was really debating just going straight to red, like all the way through. And then I was like, well, do a little something special, but oh, it's so sweet. Oh, yes. Um, I'm not big on bubbles typically, but um, these were up high enough that I didn't feel that they were in inappropriate areas. 
And a um, misplaced bobbling is is really like a big fear of mine, I guess. Um, but I'm really, I really liked it. This made my brain work so hard. I'm really glad that I got it out of the way quickly because, oh, just reading chart, you know, like backwards and forwards because you're in intarsia, so you're going one way and then you have to flip the whole chart in your head and go the other way. And it just, it was a lot, but um, I'm super thrilled. And of course, when I put my hair down, it covers, covers the, the point, but I like it when my hair's down more. Um, so anyway, so far, it's extremely comfortable. Excuse me, I'm gonna adjust my strap here. Um, it's extremely comfortable. It's a little bit warm, but that could be because I'm talking and podcasting and such. Sometimes, you know, I get a bit warmer when I do that. Um, I also used acrylic yarn, so there's there's that. And I did block this and washed it and let it dry flat. Um, I blacked it with like lukewarm water because uh, I really didn't worry about bleeding with two like acrylic pressed yarns. Odds are I was gonna be okay. Um, and I was, but I did notice that the fibers, warmer they are, will open up and bloom more, which is what I wanted for the leaves. However, um, right around here started looking pink and I had to take a closer look and it was really just the fibers doing their thing. <laughs> wrapping around each other um as they dried and kind of came back together I do not think that it looks pink anymore so I'm happy with that um I did a cap sleeve I did them slightly differently which one's which okay so this one you can notice there's almost like a pixelation on this edge and there isn't on this side I did a row of red on this side when I picked up these stitches, and I did not do that on this side. This is the first, this is the second. I think that this looks a lot cleaner than that. That's my two cents. When I did my sleeve cap, I picked up and knit up and over, not the armpit, but the up and over, and then I came back to the middle and started the short rows to build the cap. And I feel like that one row of red just really made that a much cleaner edge. Yeah. So, I mean, not enough to rip back the first sleeve, but it, it's been a while since I've had to do sleeve caps. So it was kind of like an, oh yeah, moment when I was doing it. Um, but yeah. So that is that on this sweater. Um, this is this and that is that and every time I have to do it. <laughs> and I'm really, really loving it. Uh, so I just wanted to wear it today because I haven't gotten to wear it yet. It's been sitting here waiting for me to podcast. My husband just left on a doctor's appointment. So I was like, ran over here <laughs> because I like podcasting by myself. <laughs> and that sounds weird because I'm talking to all of you. But um, when other people are in the house, it's weird. So I really like podcasting by myself. Dog went to bed. We're all good. So I'm going to get through, get through. I'm, I'm going to keep going with this so that I don't lose the, lose the time um, to be by myself and do this because that's what I want. Now, I have a few finished objects, mostly small. Then I have some advent things. I'm also doing vlogmas. I'm also finishing up my finals. <laughs> My birthday is next Friday. It's all very exciting things happening for me in December. So I will start with my friend lent me a Christmas tree. Um, I had a mini tree, little Christmas tree. The yarn that I dyed um, was based on that tree. It had multicolored lights. And oh, I think I had it from an old relationship because uh, I don't believe Patrick would have cared for multicolored lights if we had bought this together. But it could have been the only one that was left as well at the time in Michael's when we were shopping. Can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I had a little like two foot tree and it was cute and we would put our decorations on it. It was great for apartments. Got to the house, I ordered this beautiful big tree. We have it for two years. The top is out. Something's, one of the bulbs is out. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so she lends me this tiny tree because I'm like, I am a watermelon. And I don't know if I have the energy to put up that entire tree 
decorate it and then take it down with newborn. <laughs> so, um, I've decorated it with my little birds of happiness and um, I'm so pleased it's just enough, but it felt a little bare on top. Typically, <laughs> little bear. Um, typically, I like to put a Christmas hat on top. I used my dad's, who's been gone for um, three years now. And I, I, yeah, I like to use his Christmas hat um, because it's just a nice memory for me. So I normally put that on top of the tree, but I didn't get out, out all the decorations this year. I just grabbed like the tiniest, like I grabbed my garland and like that was it. So I crocheted a star. I'll try to put the pattern link down below where I got it. Um, I got it off of Ravelry, but it linked to a blog. So you end up on a blog at the end. So I'll try to link the blog post. Um, and I knit two of these tinsel stars and then I sewed them together, leaving the bottom open so that I could put the Christmas tree. Yay! I, I, I could put the Christmas tree topper, the very top piece, into the star. So it came out really cute. I would definitely make them again. Um, I'd make them with like thick yarn or like a, a tight crochet, that's what I would say. I would do this crochet tightly so that it would keep shape. Um, I might also run like a warm or cool iron over it to just like flatten out anything that you're doing. Always great for things like snowflakes, stars. Um, yeah, no, I had a great, great time with this. This was really, really fun and I knit two two of them but I would do it again so I knit one I knit the other one I put them together I did one crochet edge crocheting them together so if you can yep you can see that and then again just left the bottom open I'm obsessed they would be very cute as like appliques or hair pieces if you're doing like an aerial thing for your kid I mean the applications are endless, but they're really cute. Ninja stars, who knows? Um, but I'm going to put it back on the tree in a minute. Uh, it's just been, it's just been, it's just been a little something. It's just been a little something, but it's very fun to, to squish and play with. And I'll probably, after Christmas, I'll just take it off and put it in the baby's box because it's a safe, like, safe toy. It's just lappy. It's nothing, nothing to hurt him. So all good there. From there, I was on a little crochet kick and I I found an Emmy Gurumi Christmas tree and I just had a mighty need to make one. So here he is. I love I love Christmas trees. At Christmas I love the little decorations. This is an ornament as slash decoration. I haven't decided whether I oh it's too big for this trip, but uh, I, I haven't decided if I want it to be hung. So put the loop on the top or just use a hook, which would then make it a toy up until the point it would get hung on the tree. And I think I've mentioned it before. I might have in vlogs um, that things that are breakable are tough for kids, you know, they, they want to touch everything. So I like to have safe yes things. And this is a yes thing because it can't hurt me and it can't hurt them. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to be a yes Christmas toy. And I am just going to put it out on our, our, uh, that's not a bar. The tree, no, that's not the word. Oh, this like Swiss cheese brain. Let me do it. TV, the TV stand. We're gonna put it on the TV stand. There it is. I'll get there. Um, so yes, I, in my future crochet plans, um, I thought about doing, oh, sorry. I thought about doing bobbles and some leaves and having like a hair clip. I thought that might be nice. Um, and then the last finished, finished object 
is another baby hat. Um, this one was knit kind of big. Um, it's I have it on my size seven head, which I use um, sizes four through 11, five through 11 when I do my cozy cable collection. This is one of my cozy cable collection. This is the simple ribbed beanie. It's the last, it's the bottom one. And I used like a whispering woods color in DK on US sevens. And I did ribbing just all the way up. And it um, probably could have used sixes to be fair, but I just didn't have them. Sevens are a little bit loose. I went up to five, I went down to fives at the end. And that fabric is a bit better. I guess I should have done the whole thing on fives. You learn, you learn, you learn, get loves, right? So um, it has a ton of stretch. Um, which I think is perfect. And um, it's just really just a, a huge thing of two by two. And then I finish it off. And I figure if it was all ribbed that I can make it just as short and or as long as I needed it. Um, so it's just been kind of sitting on the blocker for now, but I tried it on my yarnet, which I talked about last time as it's about 16 inches around and I have been measuring baby heads on there. Now, um, new baby recently born 13.25 inches. So this would actually work just fine, uh, because it, it would get small enough because of the ribbing, right? Like look how tiny that is. So if you're looking to make a baby hat and you have no idea how big that baby is gonna come out, may I personally suggest my free pattern, <laughs> which you can download on my website at babwolfgirlstudios.weebly.com on Ravelry and on Etsy. Um, and yeah, if you, if you should like to, I would highly recommend this pattern. And this has no cables if you're not a cable person. It's just ribbing. So I want to say I did 72, no, 64. I think I did 64 stitches on this guy. I could count, but um, really cute. I have a hat in this colorway. So now I have a hat and Babes has a hat and there's some more left over. So I'm debating that Patrick should get like a hat or a cowl and then we can have a little matchy family. So yes, um, I finished that off as well. And then because I was really on a crochet kick, um, I saw these little gnome ornaments. So you take a pom pom and then this is supposed to be a wooden ball. I crocheted a ball slash nose because I didn't have any wooden balls that size. I also used the same color green for both ornaments. So I have this little gnome and a tan pom-pom and his little green hat. And he's been hanging out over on our pantry door and he makes me smile. <laughs> I think he's just the funniest thing. Oh, I love him so much. He's so cute. And this hat actually is um, just here. So you can see I've sewn under there. So here's the nose. And then I threaded it through. And then I just booped him on like that. It's really easy. Um, I didn't fuss too much about it. And uh, then he is ready for his hanging debut. So that could be on your tree, it could be on your mantle. Um, again, mine is not like glued together or anything. So he has to hang in order for, ever, for gravity to like, do its thing and keep everything where it should be. So he is not a toy. He is an ornament for sure. Toy ornament. So um, I'm obsessed. I'm going to put him back on the pantry after this, but I just love him. I just love him. He's so cute. And the pom-poms from like Michael's, you know, so like a couple of bucks. Oh, I can't even. I can't even with a sweet little face. So I've had a good time just crocheting up things. Um, 
and then I guess I will get into the, oh, oh I have one. So this is the um, beard of the next one that I was gonna make. And I was gonna do this orange as the hat. Well, no me. So cute. Again, I will try to put these patterns down below so that you can find them later. Okay. Then I have Vlogmas webs. So if you've been following my Vlogmas, you will have seen some of these, not maybe to this point, but um, pardon the doubles if you're watching Vlogmas. Um, I have pulled out, I found, for one, I found my Bad Wolf Girl Studios Cozy Memories. This has been since 2016. So a lot of these, a lot of these colorways are original colorways from my shop. Right there, those first three rows. Then we kind of get into like 2019, 2018, 2017, those colors in here. Um, this is 20. 20 which was moana uh-huh and then um down here i have some of the gilmores from uh 2021 no i'm in 2021 2020 advent was gilmore girls last year so i have um coffee 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 renaissance fair wedding pop tarts dosies Suki, Dragonfly Inn, um, Deep Fried Korean Thanksgiving, um, uh, that's Hey Hey, that's Butterbeer from an original, Moana and Light Fury original, and uh, Cosmic Sunglasses. So some of those are, some of those are Gilmore Girls, but I've done these uh, eight, 12 squares, added on there and we are really going. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five high and one, two, three, four wide to fill in for the rest of the month of December. My foot is going to sleep sitting on this chair. Oh boy, okay. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. Um, but yeah, so coming along really nicely. I'm about to finish that square. Uh, if I can get more than one done in a day, I try to because my attention span is short and I don't want to, um, I don't want to lose steam on that before I can take it and snuggle under it in the hospital. Cause I know sometimes just being able to keep my body heat in across my chest really helps. Um, I remember this from, I'm eating here. I'm here or fuzz. Yep. Um, <laughs> I remember this from my, my MS hospital stay. So I'm kind of counting on it to take with me. I want to take it with me. So I want to get a good amount of squares done and then I will just have it. I'll just have it and I'll have it packed. I'll pack a couple of minis if I'm still working on, if I haven't finished it off, I'll pack a couple of minis and I'll have something to knit. Should I wish to, I may not. So, Yes. Then, then, um, something came across my radar. I'm not really sure how it came across my radar. I think somebody, somebody posted something about their Andrea Mowry, um, Dre Renee Knits inclination shawl. And I had not heard of this. I don't follow Andrea that closely. I, you know, she's like in my feed, but mostly I get you guys and such. So um, I didn't hear about this. It was probably about a month ago that it came out. So I'm behind the times. And um, I just kind of fell in love with this look of it. Um, and it reminded me of the Bits and Bobs blanket um, by the Bakery Bears. It's not the same stitch. However, I've done a little judging, and mine is. So, um, mine is not exactly the inclination shawl, but visually it will look like hairline difference. 
you wouldn't know. Okay, so what am I using? I am using, well, right now I'm using, okay, what I started with. Let's start with that one. Okay, so the purple that I started with is NYX by Dragon Horde Yarn. It's black, purple, blue. I got it for a sweater. I got almost to the armpits and then I ran out of steam. And it's been languishing since we were tiling the kitchen ages. It's been languishing. And so, you know what? I was like, new life. I'm going to make it kind of live its best life. So it is the purple that is being held in this. So that is NYX. I don't know if this is being blown out. I think we're okay. So I'm holding it with minis that I made a magic cake of. I count to about 10 or 20 um, <clears throat> on my ball winder. So as I, I go like 10 rounds or 20 rounds on my ball winder and then cut it, tie a new one on. So this whole beginning is the planets that I just knit up for the baby. Um, so it kind of like, yeah, it's really bright out there, but yeah, so it's, I've got the, this is the specific, this mint is Uranus. And I think I have Venus. This one is Saturn, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Jupiter. This one's from an old calendar. And, um, and then it's mine and then Earth. So like these are the planets I'm kind of moving through the planetaries and um I actually ran out of the first ball of NYX because it wasn't a whole ball and I moved into my colorway it was a one of a kind um and it was like a dark there it is like dark nebula like it's very dark um I will blow it out so you can see it I was just like purple, black, blue. And it is almost a ringer for NYX, which is hilarious because I had made this completely separately way before I had seen her color. And she probably never saw this because it was like a one, this is the only skein, it's a one of a kind. Um, and so my matte base, I miss dyeing yarn a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of work, but. I do miss it. Uh, so it was in a sweater. I frogged that sweater. I pulled this out and I'm like, I'm keeping this. So now I've got this magic cake going. Which I'm very excited about. It's got some Princess and the Frog. It's got some from Tristan. Um, and then if you've been here for years, which thank you if you have, my babes. I love it. I love that you've been here for years. I've been here for years, but you've been here for years too. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I feel like I need a, like I need to, I, I know I have them. I I need to get one of the, the cake socks to like hold that thing together because it's definitely going to get weird. I made this in 2016. So this was my current available stash in 2016. And just really, really fun to look back and see those, those yarn memories, which is what a Magic Cake Cozy Memories is about, right? So this is going to go into... The shawl as well. So I have a, what would you call this? I have, um, well, they label it as a diaper bag, but I got it from Mali Ali and they sent it to me and it's amazing and I use it for yarn. So um, that is my sort of inclination shawl. I um, changed the stitch ever so slightly and I'm very 
very pleased with it. I would say that I am a third of the way for how much I want to do. I'd like it to be wingspan, you know, boom. I like it to be wingspan at finished. Um, and like, obviously I'm going to need this to bloop that way. So uh, it's coming along. I'm using sevens and I'm holding that yarn double and I'm doing this nice little, nice little bakery bears stitch bits and bobs. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. It's very squishy and it's very pretty and it's actually darker in person than it is coming across on camera and that's okay. I like, I like it a little bit darker. I like it moody. It's a whole vibe. I'm very here for it. Um, not done, but almost done. I took a Christmas cake apart or I, I took the sock, sock tube apart, made two socks, did the toes and cuffs, had my mom try it on. She said that they fit okay. Um, they did look like they were a little hard for her to get on. Um, but what I was doing was trying to guesstimate where the heel was gonna go. And so that's what we're up to. I just, we're so close to Christmas. I want her to have Christmas socks. So, without a heel, they're too tight on her leg, but with a heel, they'll be fine. So, they are coming along really well. Um, all I have to do now is uh, cut in, but I just wanted to cut in in the right spot. Um, that was my main worry, is that I would, I would miss cut, which I recently did, and now I'm a little bit gun shy because I, I did recently just mess a pair up. So, okay. <clears throat> so that's that. Um, in my sock project bag, I've still got baby socks all over the place, but in my, in my sock project bag, I was able to get which better have my candy done. This is my November sock. Obviously doing a great job. Um, and I did cast on the next one. I started the toe. I have one stripe and I still have my pumpkin pie. Yeah, which I might switch over for like a, a mug of something, like a beer mug or a butterscotch mug or something like that. So, um, nothing to write home about there, but the fact that it's on, it's done. And the other one just needs a heel. I'm gonna make sure that I am not missing husband text messages. I'm not, we're good. Okay, so this is what I've been taking in my bag when I need something to do. So that's been good. Um, that's a wish list. Then, okay, so back up. I went to the Frederick Fiber Fest and I was able to pick up this skein or a skein of Froggate Yarns this is Raspberry Romantic. And I knit this hat, which is the Latu, L-A-T-U, hat, with a giant pom-pom from Tristan. You can get these pom-poms in Tristan shop, if you should like it. Do, 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 do. I'm obsessed. It's gorgeous. The yarn's gorgeous. It's nice and slouchy. I love it so much. And I made Gypsy a little cowl to match. I was saying this all last time. And then I mentioned that I had run out and it, it rolls on itself and it does all the time. It's a little annoying because it constantly is like, rrr, rrr. <sighs> she sent another skein so that I could finish it. Like this was, this was, you know, like people don't do yarn. Well, okay. P the, people do the get your yarn wishes granted. Um, and I didn't, I didn't ask for anything this year. And this is kind of what it felt like. Like a wish I didn't know I had until it was here. Um, I was just really happy. So I'm going to be able to finish Gypsy's Cal, enforce it, and then possibly make some gloves for myself, like little fingerless 
mitten gloves and I am just, oh my word, I'm so pleased. But it worked up beautifully. Raspberry Romantic, highly recommend. It's like this great purpley, plummy, Dougie, I hear her moving. But she sent me a second skein and she said, um, she's like, make something for your baby. So this is Earl Grey. And I am pairing it with Woolen Boon Blueberry. Called Double. And I'm about to take Woolen Boon Blueberry. And I'm going to fade it with Earl Grey. I've just split for the sleeves. I'm making the Gramps cardigan. Dad's home, that's why she got up. I know it. So yeah, it is this gorgeous worsted Earl Grey. It has 231 yards. Oh, so well, actually, so this one is merino DK. I think this one was merino worsted. And I put the tag somewhere. Put the tag somewhere. But it is so cute. I think the baby's gonna look so adorable in it. I'm making the fourth size. So I think it's a two to four year old. Obviously, plenty of time to wait. But um, I kind of like getting these projects started. And the little, oh, it's just so sweet. So yes, we have split for the sleeves. I'm about to start fading in the blueberry and then um, I'll definitely have enough. And I'm going to use my favorite color, which is Malabrigo Marte um, in its fingering weight held double for the button bands, the cuffs and the bottom. So it's kind of like this, this isn't it, but it'll be like this kind of transition where I'll have like a darker band on the bottom. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cute. So thank you so much. This is incredible and it's incredibly soft. I highly recommend checking out her yarn. I will link her down below. It's beautiful. And I've got some, I've got at least one more skein of hers that we bought at the Frederick, Frederick Fiber Fest. And I can't wait to use that one either, so yes. All right, so I have this and I have it all tucked into this, well, like I said, marketed as a diaper bag, but really, <laughs> it's yarn storage. And you can just separate all your projects that way. It's amazing. All right, so I have this done, 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 done. Wish knit. I wanna make another hat um, and I found and frogged an old kind of short cardigan that I had made back 2016 um, in this Pearl 10, whoa, blowing out. Pearl 10 from Malabrigo, which is kind of like a charcoal gray, composition book gray. And I am going to do my everyday, nope, get the right words, the cozy cable collection hipster beanie that I have out there. Again, free pattern, find it on my website, all the good stuff. Um, so I have this and a bunch of others downstairs. So I am going to go ahead and just kind of have like a nice cozy cabled hat and do a gray, I have a, I have a pom pom over here, a gray pom pom. It's like timber wolf color. I think it'll go with everything. It's something that uh, as I was looking through my hat box, I realized that I have a lot of like kind of purples and like red tones, but I do not have black. Don't have a black hat, which feels like a hole that should be filled. And the fact that I just found this yarn and I will be done my finals on Sunday and I will be able to just relax. I'm very excited. So I haven't started it yet. I just threw it up into this bin so that I could start it soon. And that is everything that I have been knitting, which actually feels like a lot now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> I felt like I haven't been doing much, but 
the cozy memories definitely adds up the socks i will pop some heels in this week um again i think my mom will really like them and uh, once i get them um once i get the heels in i think i'll leave them on the blockers and i might actually leave them on the large blockers which are normally patrick's but i think the um the heel width would actually be better for her because her legs like mine right now are a little bit wider and i think that that just tiny bit of stretching like to block dry block would help just allow that to relax now this is a tube so it's like 60 stitches anyway which is more than i normally knit um but hopefully it will be plenty to help her get everything around her ankle comfortably and all of that so like i said once there's a heel in there i might throw it on briefly to do some dry blocking on the larges instead of the mediums because yeah the uh the heel step feels a little bit bigger sorry um you can't see it from that side i can see it from that side so the heel step it's a little bit bigger ever so slightly so. and then last up is knit crate so we got in i actually gifted one of these boxes with the knit crate yarn the hat that I had made. I used the boxes <laughs> as the gift. It was great. Um, so you have these sweet little openings. Here we go. And it is tea time. Ah. And Gypsy punching me. Why is she punching me? Hi, Gyps. Why are you punching me? Thank you. So this is... Um, the November box, they did tea time, which was super sweet. They sent me a tea as well. So that felt appropriate. And I got Winter Bliss black tea, um, Ceylon black tea, white tea, green tea, almond, coconut flakes, cinnamon chips infused with chocolate, hazelnut, and almond flavors. Wow, babe, you definitely can't <laughs> drink that one. <laughs> It's like hazelnut, almond, <laughs> like just, nope. Citrus? <laughs> no, but like there's, there's like almond and coconut flakes, chocolate, hazelnut, and almond flavors. <laughs> so much nuts. Yeah, it's not pure <laughs> And then the yarn that came with is absolutely gorgeous. It's a bulky weight. So I'm thinking cowl, and I'm thinking the two skeins per one cowl would be just luscious look at that it's kind of like a blueberry purple really nice this is something that i probably would have made for my grandmother i don't know why but i always felt that she looked really good good in purple so this is butterfly pea flower it's 45 percent uh huacaya alpaca it's my best guess on that one Surrey alpaca is 45%, 10% uh, 10% Stellina. Uh, super bulky. Sorry, not just bulky. It's super bulky. 55 yards per 100 grams. That's 50 meters. And it's calling for US 11s. So chonky needles. Love it. And this would knit up so fast. But oh my goodness, look at it. Uh, it is very pretty and um, I've got an idea of whom to gift this to um, but I might be like I think her gifts are actually done this year so I might make it and save it for next year or I might pull one of the gifts from this year make this a gift, gift from this year but yeah so November knit crate super super cute um links down below you can try your own box um and i've got everything down there if you want to check it out uh give yourself a little treat anything like that um all good if you don't also fine if you just want to go look at stuff their instagram is beautiful 
um, or technically the Instagram hashtag is beautiful. Uh, so you can check out everything through there. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this pom pom. Tristan really like has some great pom poms like that. Look at that. I need some gray ones from her. Tristan, I'm gonna come shopping. Come and shopping, I'm getting great pom poms. Look at this floof. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Okay, time check, 1148. I think that's about everything. I did get a Bones Coffee Company order in, and if you're not watching Vlogmas, this will be the coffee that I will be drinking for my birthday. They are turning five. This is not an affiliate, this is just a fan. I love Bones Coffee. So I got the cake, it's like birthday cake, confetti something, confetti cupcake. It's. I think it'll go well with like French vanilla original creamer. Um, and it just cracked me up. The artwork is always so good. I have like a mild dream of being part of that team at some point. <laughs> that would be so cool. But anyway, um, that's the coffee that I got recently. And then I've been doing a puppy advent calendar with Jippy. So if you wanna watch Gypsy receive cookies, <laughs> Feel free to go along the vlogmas and check out how excited she is that advents are a thing right now. And I don't know how I'm going to, just, you know, explain to her in January that she doesn't get a magic cookie every morning anymore. <laughs> gonna have to like wean her off. <laughs> She's gonna be confused. Um, and then that brings us. Be with a baby. Yeah, don't be a baby to like distractor <laughs> small invader <laughs> oh i think that's everything so i am going to kind of wrap this up mm -hmm. ina ah she's getting her hair done good luck with your hair ina she's not watching this it's fine <laughs> yeah i'm gonna switch back into my other sweater that i was wearing today because i look ridiculous when I stand up with these pajamas on underneath <laughs> but I am extremely comfortable as I said so <sighs> chatter mostly everything's going into vlogmas so um like what I'm up to what I'm knitting on um quick blips of my day giving the dog cookies working on my finals um Friday, my tests are due. No, Sunday, my tests are due. So I've done my written exam portions. I have a paper and two projects that will all be turned in on Sunday. And then next week is kind of the wrap up week where you do like the questionnaire and like exchange LinkedIn's and sign your yearbook, have a good summer. So that is I'm looking forward to it because it's, it's just like a detox week really, where you just kind of like wind back down from finals week, which is right now. And then um, uh, Trina is coming on Wednesday. So uh, that will be really nice. And um, hopefully there'll be some vlogmas footage from that. Uh, we've got baby scans once a week now. So we're gonna go Friday get to hear a little heartbeat, which is very exciting. Um, every day I feel I'm moving, so that's good. Uh, sometimes it's quite strong. <laughs> really gives like a good elbow in there. Um, what else? But yeah, so he's been, he's been good and I've been busy and I'm almost done the semester. I look like I'm going to finish with just A's and B's and my finals, which is great. I'm very happy with that. Um, but I do have to get working on some more homework. So it's been wonderful. Let me get my coffee to do the sign off. All right, there we go. The magic of editing, right? Reminding you to take it one cup at a time, no matter how large that cup may be. And I will see you soon.